Hello, Somerville. I'm Jack Conley, one of your two choices for the Ward 6 City Council seat this November. I'm running because I plan to fix the lack of communication existing now in Ward 6. I'm Jack, and I'll call you back, or I'll answer your text or email. Whether you've been here three weeks or three decades, I have the experience in the background to earn the vote I'm asking you for this November here in Ward 6. I'm born and raised here in West Somerville, attended local schools, worked my way through BC and Tufts University for my BA and master's degrees. Early in my career, I have experience working in local government, both here in Somerville and for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts before moving into the insurance business where I worked both as an agent and as a president of my own insurance agency, the Wedgwood Crane and Conley Insurance Agency in Davis Square. My most rewarding experience, however, was the years I spent as the elected Ward 6 and at-large counselor here in Somerville. I'm running because Ward 6 is losing ground here in the city as Ball Square, Davis Square, and Powderhouse Square all need to be renovated, restored, and revitalized. I can do the job to bolster Ball Square, preserve Powderhouse Park, and promote the small businesses and neighborhood around Powderhouse Square and get going to repair the now very deteriorating Davis Square. Davis Square has been overlooked for too many years and needs a major effort to fix the square. It's crumbling crosswalks, loose bricks, empty storefronts, and graffitied empty gas station on Highland Ave. I plan on challenging our economic development staff to interact with the Chamber of Commerce to make Ward 6 a major priority. I want to be your neighborhood ambassador to City Hall. I'll definitely make a major effort to help the Davis Square Plaza people, many who have serious mental health and drug problems, and find a way to get much needed treatment, but certainly not continued enablement in a drug injection facility anywhere in Davis Square or in Ward 6. Recently, the Boston Globe reported the city of Boston planned such a facility in one of the most isolated sections of Boston to help solve the mass and cast disaster. Why would some out of town consultant already hired by the city want to put such a drug injection facility in such an active residential and commercial business district such as Davis Square? It makes no sense. It's not gonna happen on my watch. Right now, there are people who are shooting up in front of JP Lick's ice cream shop in and around Davis Square, not to mention people sleeping in Seven Hills Park behind the Harvard Vanguard building on Holland Street in Powderhouse Park and along the community path up to Willow Ave and beyond. You all know what I'm talking about. You see it for yourselves. What's the current Ward 6 Council doing about any of these issues? I'll be happy to lead the charge with the mayor and fellow city councilors to go to the governor and request the resources of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and get the help of major nonprofits that we have right here in Somerville, like the Mass General Brigham, the Cambridge Health Alliance, Riverside Community Care, the Somerville Homeless Coalition, and Tufts University to put together a comprehensive treatment program for our Somerville drug-dependent, mentally challenged individuals. Here in Somerville, we take care of our own. The last thing Davis Square needs right now is a drug injection facility anywhere in the square or in Ward 6. We certainly do not need a mini mass and cast here in Davis Square. I also plan on being a major proponent of both public safety and our fire emergency services and DPW crews to be a major influence preserving, protecting, and maintaining all of Ward 6. If you want a counselor who can make changes working with and involving dozens of other like-minded community people who on my previous Ward 6 watch helped bring the red line to Davis Square, helped build the Harvard Vanguard building, and also helped to save the Sarmal Theater, and were instrumental in bringing Red Bones, the Baron, the Diesel Cafe, and helped build the Citizens Bank building in Davis Square. Then I hope I'm your guy for the Ward 6 City Council seat. Working with you and so many others, we can do it again. Let's make it happen. I am, know I can do a lot, but I can't do it alone. I have some good support right now, but I can always use a little more to make the changes many of us know need to happen now. Maybe I can put a sign on your lawn, or you could host a political porch fest, rally some of your Ward 6 neighbors, or maybe have a coffee hour. 
Perhaps you could do some dear friend cards or introduce me to some of your neighbors. We can't make Ward 6 come alive yet again. Contact me via phone or text at 617-838-7077 or email me at jackconleyward6 at gmail.com or you can also find me on Facebook. Thanks for taking the time to listen and watch today. I look forward to seeing you on the streets and in the square here in Ward 6 around the city. Don't hesitate to say hello. I'd love to chat with you about our mutual ward and city concerns. Thanks again for listening and let's make it a good day.